Welcome back to the show. Thank you for having me. Great to see you. And this is a really great part. I know we always fo focus on the workout, but the recovery part is very important as well. Absolutely. It's crucial to get where we want to go in terms of fitness and as we progress. So it's used with athletes and with uh, uh, physical therapists all over the world. So when we look at it, there's three main things we want to get out of it. So one is we want to reduce muscle soreness and increase recovery. We do that actually by softening a tissue called your fascia, which wraps your muscle. We want to focus on increasing range range of motion um, as well as flexibility and basically overall it'll help to decrease the soreness post exercise so you can get back in the gym and keep rolling. It's That's also it called right myofascial release right That's so right. if you've heard that foam rolling it's the same thing it can feel good it can also be a little bit painful but Courtney and I are ready to try it so today you're going to walk us through a few different ways we can do this. Yes yeah, so we're going to go through a couple of essential muscle groups we're going to start with the calves work to the glutes then to our quads and then two different portions of our back. And simple, we're going to get started here. Here's our foam roller, and this is a very not super pricey piece of equipment that we can buy and use at home. Probably one of the cheapest pieces you can purchase. You can get at any sporting goods store or even your superstores like a Target, things like that. Okay. Okay, great. So, so the calves to start. Yeah, so we're going to sit on our butts here first, and we're going to work the calf. So what we want to do is put the middle of your calf onto that foam roller. Both of them? Yes. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to slightly elevate that butt off the floor, and we're going to start to roll to the top of our calf and then back towards the bottom. We don't want to roll right behind the knee or to your Achilles tendon, which is right above your ankle. So you don't go too far then? Nope, you want to limit that range of motion so you don't put pressure on any of those joints or ligaments like that. My calves are so yeah, tight. Mine are too. And is, I need to do this more often. I have a foam roller. Sometimes my dry cleaning hangs on it. I'm going to be honest. Your dry cleaning yeah, hangs on it. I know. Even if you're doing this, one to two sets, a minute to a minute and a half is all you need post-workout. Okay. All right, so next we're going to go is to our glutes. So let's hop those butt cheeks right up on that foam roller right there. Okay. I thought you never asked. <laughs> <laughs> So what you're going to do first, we'll start on that right glute. What you're going to do is take your right ankle and put it over your left knee. Okay. Perfect. Now what I want you to do is actually tilt your hips towards your right so you're facing a little bit to your right. And then you're going to slowly foam roll that glute. Oh, man. Yeah, so what we're actually Ooh. what we're actually <laughs> doing by oh, yeah. elevating that ankle like that, we're actually getting a deep <sighs> muscle called your piriformis. So that's what you're feeling right now. Oh, that actually, tight. but it's a good hurt though, right? Good. Wow. Switch to the other side for me. We gotta get the other one. Okay. okay. Good. And you say about 10 seconds or how long? I missed that. You want to do one to two sets. Okay. Up to one minute. Oh. Take your time. Focus on your breathing, right? Because as you say that it's sore, if you're tensing up, you can't relax to get through that fast end tissue that you want. So relax, control that breathing, and you'll be good to go. And this is an important muscle group as well because there's so many connector muscles in your glutes, right? Yes, and they commonly become overactive, which is why we need to do this to protect them and your low back. Okay, so... Did you even feel tight before we started rolling? No. My body actually felt okay, but now that we're doing this, I realize how tight I was. Yes, so next what we're going to do is go to our calves. So what I actually want you to do is to flip onto your stomach. Oh, wait, we just our did thighs, calves. right? Our thighs? thighs? Yes, thighs and quads. Okay. Quads. Okay. So we're going to shift the foam roller to the right. You're going to lay your right thigh on that foam roller. Okay. And relax that left knee. You can bring that left knee a little up closer to your hip. Up like that? Perfect. Good. Yes. And then what you're going to do is roll from the top of the thigh down to right above the knee and not on the kneecap. Yeah. Try to relax that back leg as much as that you can. And if you want, swivel your ankle out to in as you're rolling. And you'll roll oh. over that fascia. Nice yeah. job. Yep. Oh. Good. Switch to the other side for me. See, I have a foam roller at home, and I think I would use it more if I knew how to do it. But, so I'm glad you're here today. Well, it'll change your life. Okay, so knees sort of up, right? Yes, yes. and you want to relax that leg as much as possible. That way you're loading the one that you're trying to work and really get into that fascia and muscle. So as we're going through these three key areas, even if you're not sore, like Derek said, this is super important to be able to do the push and go harder, stronger tomorrow. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, so we're going to hit the last two, which are going to be on our back. Okay. So let's get that foam roll back to the middle of the mat, and we're actually going to lay on our, our uh, the foam roll on our lower part of our back. Okay. Lower part of our back. Yes. So you can start right above the butt. Okay. okay. And then you're going to slowly work the foam roller up your back right to the bottom of your shoulder blades, right there. Ooh, that feels you can good. cross the arms over your uh, shoulders if you want. Make sure those abs are nice and tight and control that roll, okay? Not too fast, not too slow. Yeah. This one feels the best so far. This is sort of like a back massage, and 
a round of sit-ups at the same time. Yeah, so actually, as you can see, you made a great point, is that you're actually working your core just by foam rolling and working on that recovery, so that's great. Last one we're gonna do, let's get that foam roller on our mid-back. I actually want you to then take your hands and interlock your fingers behind your head. Okay. Okay, lift that butt up off the ground. Good, and what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna roll to your right, so lift your right shoulder off, and you're gonna roll Oops. to the bottom of your rib cage. Ooh. Yep. Yep. And then you can rotate and switch to the other side. That feels Possibly good too. Mike, we're found, but I get Very it. Very good. Yeah. Hey, you're still doing a good job. That's great. Well, mine feels really good. Yeah. No, this is awesome. And it's super important. I don't stretch enough. I definitely don't roll enough, but now I know what to do. Those five key yes. easy points on our body. Thank cheers to goodness. rolling. And also, can we also say cheers to unicorn fitness t-shirts? I love it. Where's mine? <laughs> <laughs> a unicorn brought it to me. I don't even know where it came from. Thank you so That's much to Shane O'Connor. You guys did a great job. Right. That you. was awesome. Thank you. I'm going to try this at home tonight as well. By the way, if you would like to connect with Shane, be sure to check out the scene on Houston Life section of our website. And there's more Houston Life right after this. Let's get to it. The back ones were my favorites. They were. I